All right, guys, I've wanted to make this video for a while because I still see a lot of posts about this. Um, this is concerning the rapid fl flashing theft code that these trucks will put out, whether it be the Expedition version, Navigator, Blackwood, F-150, etc. I see several times people saying, well, it's the key. It's always the key. It can be the key. It's not always guaranteed to be the key. So what I've done is I've pulled the PCM relay on this thing to force this to trigger a code. So right now this thing will not start. But what will happen is this instead. You turn the key on, and you'll get a rapidly flashing death light. And you'll get, a lot of times you'll get um, dashes in your odometer. And another thing is you'll actually, the temperature gauge will not read. So, now... For those who are familiar with this system at all, as far as rather the airbag system, these things, um, and I actually just could pull the little thing on that to trigger the same thing, but how these things work is when once these light eventually stops rapidly flashing, which it takes a while, it takes about 30, 45 seconds, um, it'll then flash a two-digit code. Um, airbag will do the exact same thing, and that will help you determine your problem. Um, this one will trigger a code 16, and I'll, I'll show you in a little bit on how that works. But, um, concerning these trucks, the most common problem I see, uh, with, uh, is concerning code 16, where either the PCM relay fails, the PC, the, um, fuse fails, or both. And you'll see it shut off, and now it flashes once. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it'll do a long pause. And if there are other codes, it'll flash those lens. But with, after that, it'll just if there's not, it'll just repeat the code. You saw one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the only code in this system right now is a code 16. So just look up forward code, like def code 16. And it'll say like um, lost connection to PCM. But to show, so... There are about four of the codes. I think there's like a 13, 14, 15, and a 17 also. Um, I'd have to look it up again, but this is the most common one I see. Uh, other ones definitely do look it up with that. But to show you it's all it is, I'll turn this off. Um, take my relay that I took out earlier. And that's the PCM relay right here. It's slot 304. Um, earlier models will going to be differently, but pretty much 9903 and all that, it'll be all the same. But, just plug that in. Close that up. And if we go back in here. Death light will go out, no rapid flashing. Start right up. Um... And say so you have your mileage back and your temperature gauge is reading. Now, let's see what you're on here. But I'm um, not saying that's the most common problem with these things. And, you know, any, before you even, you know, say, well, I have my truck and starting, it's doing the ad. Because what the PAT system is designed to do is that it will um, cut power to the injectors so you just will not fuel the engine. That's why occasionally if you try to start the truck up, you may get it to the point where it'll start up, but then it instantly cut off. So, but no, that's a video that will help you out a lot, or at least help. Uh, hopefully not have to worry about this again. Alright guys, that's all you need to know.